what was the decision making process like when the opportunity to do two big things at fairly the same time, Godzilla and the MCU came up? Was that something you were always open to or was there any hesitation to commit? Well, it was a, it was actually a funny um, a, like decision I had like put out in the world. And I, I talked to my agent, my manager and I, you know, and I, who I, are like my mother mothers like I just love them so much um and I told them I I want to be considered for the projects that I grew up like you know as a kid looking at Star Wars and I was obsessed with Star Wars you couldn't peel me away from Star Wars as a child um and so I was you know trying to figure out like how do I how do I how do I start putting that out there because I feel like all I'm getting are these like really disturbed women in independent films and um, <laughs> it's like just a disturbed woman and a big franchise, but um, <laughs> uh, they said, take meetings. And so with these, with people who run these companies. And so I literally did. Um, and I met with Kevin and um, a couple other people that had, that were working there at the time. And then, um, and then I met with, um, with the people who were running Legendary at the time. And there are a few others in different places. And the funny thing is in the legendary meeting, they said, you know, directors cast films. We don't cast films. We're creating an incubator for directors to do what they want to do. And I was like, totally fair. So I just kind of got lucky that Gareth cast me in Godzilla when he showed me this teaser of what he was going to do, which they showed at a Comic-Con. Um, it was such beautiful filmmaking. And, you know, you throw Brian Cranston and Julia Pinochet and you're like, oh, sign me up. Um, so that, so that was, that was how that one happened. Luckily, Gareth came from, you know, independent cinema as well. And so I think that's how that worked out for me. And then um, uh, Joss had Aaron and I in mind for Quicksilver and PH for, and Scarlet Witch. And so he and I both took separate meetings Aaron and I both took separate meetings with Joss while we were doing reshoots for Godzilla. And Aaron and I kind of were like, should we, are we both gonna do this? Like, this is so funny. Like, should we, you know, move on from being a husband and wife and being brother and sister? And so it all, it all happened very close to the time of me taking those meetings. And I think what happens is you just get in the forefront of people's heads um when you take those meetings and whatever the discussions are that happens and that's what happened with Catherine Hahn with Kevin Feige for WandaVision she went on a general and um very quickly around the same time they're prepping WandaVision and she was like the first person they came up and they wanted to cast Agnes and so it, it is there is something to it about taking these generals that um you know feel so awkward usually because it's it always just feels like you know you're you're marketing yourself which is what you're kind of doing but you're also just trying to have a conversation about what they're doing as well or what they're interested in putting out in the world yeah sounds sounds like a necessary step to take it's the it seems like the only possible route to really understand what everybody else is doing around you that could be an option to you yeah i mean i i felt that way and i you know it wasn't like i was a comic book person it was just that I loved Iron Man <laughs> I really loved Iron Man and I remember hearing my brother talk about oh is this are you meeting on Guardians like he already knew about all these things that were happening that I didn't he was really telling me how exciting the next chapter of Marvel was going to be and so it made me the way he talked about it made me excited and you know he's not in the industry he's just a fan <laughs> 